Hi, everybody. Today we are talking with Mark Schumacher from the ROI department. Um, so, Mark, tell us a little bit about what you collect. Well, I've collected a number of things over the years, but today I'm going to talk to you, as you can perhaps see behind me, uh, my collection of pottery. I've been collecting pottery for, I think, about uh, 40 years. I believe I started down here in, in Greensboro when I came here. And um, I have a variety of uh, different uh, pieces. The three I'm going to mention today, well, three or four, there are three sort of national uh, well-known potteries. One's Roseville, one's Rookwood. They were both located in uh, Ohio. And um, another named Van Briggle, which uh, was in Colorado. Um, the fellow Van Briggle who created it uh, had worked at Rookwood, but went to uh, Colorado because he was suffering suffering from tub tuberculosis, and so uh, he went there to uh, be somewhat healthier. Um, I also, <clears throat> and you can see some of those pieces behind you. I. It would take us till late nightfall for me to describe each and every one, but there are some Van Briggles, some Rookwood pieces, um, and uh, some Roseville pieces here in the, in the cabinet, bookshelf, whatever. Um, I started looking for them, um, I think probably uh, in the early 80s. Um, I would go to flea markets, I would go to antique malls, Every now and then I'd find a piece, probably not a Rookwood piece, uh, at yard sales. Some of the lesser pieces are, are pro possibly from there. And I've also bought some at auctions. There are a number of auction houses that sell decorative materials and a couple of them have large sales of, of this uh, pottery. I'll also mention that in the library, whenever we get back there, there are two cases of uh, pottery. One is uh, the Van Briggle pieces, about eight or ten of those, and about eight or ten of the Rookwood pieces on display as you come in the library. Everyone who watches this video, make sure you do it when we reopen. Um, uh, I've been, as I say, looking for pottery in a variety of places. Some pieces uh, can get fairly expensive, others not so much. Uh, and the other one I want to mention, and we're going to talk about it a little bit later, is the work of Ben, uh, ben Owen III, who is in Jugtown. Oh, I'm sorry, not in Jugtown. His grandfather worked at Jugtown and saved Jugtown decades ago. And I have several pieces that his grandfather made. But I met uh, uh, Ben III uh, in the 80s. He was, I think, about 18 or 20. Uh, and I've known him ever since. And now I have probably 40 or 50 pieces of, of his work. I have been, I go down from time to time, not recently, of course, and watching, watch him work. He'll be not only having his pieces on sale in the shop, but would be out working in his, in his pottery area and we could watch him build all sorts of amazing pieces. And you can go, I think, to uh, benowen.com and look at his work. It's incredible. One of the greatest uh, young, then young and now older potters, uh, well known in North Carolina. And I've enjoyed knowing him for a long, long time. Very cool. Well, you talked about how long you've been collecting. But can you tell us a little bit about what got you started? Well, I think I... I for actually for a while uh, with somebody else um, I was dating 40 years ago, we collected something called McCoy, which is a much lower level, uh, not level, but uh, uh, less expensive and less fancy, let's say, pottery, but many people collected. And again, on eBay, you could see hundreds of pieces being offered. And she and I collected those, but then I started learning about these other other potteries like uh, Rookwood um, and Van Briggle. Uh, and so I started exploring that. And she and I went our separate ways. 
And uh, so I started exploring all these other, these other potteries. And that's what you can see. I'll show you, this is a piece. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about this one, I have other stuff. But this is a small vase uh, from Rookwood. And they have Roman numeral dates on the bottom to tell us the year. And it tells us this was made in 1923. And there are lots of other Van Briggle and other pieces here. Uh, the two pieces. Well, let's go ahead really and jump forward. Oh. Oh. oh, sure. I was just saying, let's go ahead and jump forward and highlight those pieces that I know that you want to to show off. What are some of your most prized or favorite items in your collection? Well, on the shelf behind me here is a lar one of the largest. I think it is the largest vase that Ben Owen the Third made for me. I commissioned it because it celebrates uh, my wedding with my wife, Pamela McRae. In fact, tomorrow is our 16th anniversary. So it's a perfectly fitting uh, object to have. And this is another one of Ben Owens. I love the colors. He is very, can you see them pretty well? Okay. Well, these are two of, these are known as egg vases because they have the shape of an egg. And I have about 25 or 30 of these and other pieces I've found at auction dishes um, bowls, etc. But many of them look like this. The other item I'd like to talk about is this white plate behind us with the face on it. Can you see that pretty well? My father came to visit me plate. in France. You can see the plate. Um, okay. Well, it's a smiling face on a on just a simple white plate. My father and his new wife, my stepmother, came to visit me in France, and we went to the south of France along the Mediterranean, and there's a pottery there that he had learned about, and we ended up going there, and this is actually a plate, brace yourself, done by Pablo Picasso. This is an actual Pablo Picasso, Pablo Picasso plate, and I'm not going to pick it up and hold it up, but on the back, it shows that it's numbered. It's one of a hundred pieces that were made at the pottery, but he designed it and other potters presumably made them, but um, it is a fairly scarce item. And we got this, I think in 1968, and he had it for a long time, along with a picture, a, a Picasso a picture or vase or something. Um, my brother got that one and I got this one and I've now been having it uh, here in my house. Uh, but in many ways, I think I still like the Ben Owen pieces, A, because I can afford them uh, once in a while. Um, but I like the shinier glaze on, on these pieces. But those are some of my, my favorite, favorite pieces. He actually, Ben Owen also did another piece I commissioned just to uh, honor our getting together, how long we had been together and the date of our starting back in uh, 2000, I think it was 2000, and then we were married uh, in 2004, but I have two of them. I'm not going to run over and get it off the mantle across the, across the a living room because I'll slip on the rug and then I'll have to ask him to make me another one. But uh, when I look up here, I see six or eight of his vases in this shape and a couple of pieces that his, uh, his grandfather did that are here in the room. So it's nice just to be around them and being able to look and see them. Um, yeah. I'll show you one piece. This is actually a very um, unusual piece. Um, it's uh, done by Newcomb College, which is tied to Tulane, I believe Tulane, and it's a very it's a very rare piece. And despite its miniatureness, um, I used to help somebody uh, do art history or art research for him, and he told me he had one of these that he would give to me. And things went on. He said it was packed away someplace. And it was only about six or eight years or 10 years after I'd first met him and started working with him that he found it. And he, I was on the reference desk one day in the library, a 
again, 10 or 15 years ago. And he walked in and he was carrying a little brown bag. And I somehow realized, I bet he's got the, the, Newman, the Newman College piece of pottery. And he took it out and he did. And now this is a, a wonderful treasure of mine as well. So Picasso, Newman Castle, beautiful uh, Ben Owen pieces. Um, it's a nice collection and it's nice to be around it all through the house. Yeah. And I've enjoyed doing it and I continue to look uh, for pieces and uh, I just, it's love having them around. Well, they certainly are beautiful pieces. Thank you for, for sharing that with us. I'm, I'm glad I could. Thank you. Of course.